What's up, all you good fellow fly guys? You know what it is, the cat in the hat, your resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michael Andrew of StarArchitects.com, here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to the styling thing. And welcome to another discourse and dress, some expressions for your ensemble, and some sonnets for your style. Now today we're going to continue our appreciation for African Americans in the fashion industry and I'm going to be talking about some contemporary fellas in the fashion world that you may not know about so that you can begin educating yourself on them. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because there are a lot of men of color who are doing some great things in fashion but they don't necessarily receive the same notoriety or the same publicity that other people do. Now that could be for this reason or for that. That's irrelevant. I want to make sure that I'm promoting these guys so that if young people are looking to be in the design field, if they're looking to be uh, a fashion mogul, they can find inspiration from these guys. So we're going to talk about five of them. And I would ask you, who are some of the people that I may not mention in here? Or who are some of the people in the fashion game that happen to be a man of color that you um, have seen in there leave me some comments in the comment box and leave me their link so we can check them out and so every all the other readers can check them out because I think that that would be dope what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover five different facets of the fashion industry um, they're gonna be photography it's going to be the clothing space it's going to be the brand development space and the creative directing space as well as uh, the design space and then lastly the tutorial soft tailoring good space so these are in no particular order and if I forgot some other guys please charge it to my mind not my heart there's a lot of great guys out there and like I said you can help me out by leaving their uh, names and their links in the comment box so, so the first person that uh, I'm going to give some love to is Oswald Botain. Now, Oswald has a crazy story uh, that can be seen in his documentary about a man and it's a great just rendition of all the struggles and the hardships that he's had to deal with and endure in creating a brand and a lifestyle that suits him. And so he is the only black man on Savile Row, and I believe the only man of color on Savile Row. I could be wrong, um, but he's just this amazing, bright, vibrant energy and is reflected in his clothing and in his design style. Um, he's continued to, to make inroads when it comes to uh, high-end tailored goods, and he's somebody that I really respect. So the next uh, space that I'm going to cover is the photography space. And there's two guys that I really admire when it comes to photography. And the first one is Carl Edwin Gear of Gearisms. Uh, his website focuses on street style, and he's now gotten more into the editorial space. Um, and I've known Gear for about four and a half years, and when we met each other, he was just this super smooth, cool dude. But his images that he's creating have encompassed almost a, a spirit or soul to him when you're watching how he's creating and how he's curating these different types of Im images. And one of the things that I love about Gear is that he's showing you the range and the access that can actually come from you developing your skill, your skill set and your passion. And so he's worked with some of the top fashion houses. He's also worked with some of the uh, best magazines whether it's rake magazine esquire gq just all different types of uh, magazines that he's captured images for he's a great photographer there and definitely somebody to watch another photographer that you should really be paying attention to is lou he goes by dapper lou and he's a dapper dude uh, he has really been able to reformat and reformulate how we look at people of color when it comes to, to fashion he's not afraid to use bold colors to use these abstract concepts and he's created some beautiful artwork I, it's not even photography it would just be art to me um i don't want to limit it to photography and he's definitely somebody who is going to have some staying power when it comes to uh the fashion photography space he's a great dresser uh, to boot and i'm looking forward to what he's going to create and one person that um is still on the come up he's he's a new up-and-comer is my man ron hill he is here in atlanta but he's uh frequenting uh up and down to new york and ron is just this new wave of vibrant raw energy and when he captures a picture it's evoking the personality of the person that he's he's capturing and so he's definitely somebody to watch 
The next industry that I have to show my black men some love in is in the the creative development um, space. And there's two guys that I'm really paying attention to. Well, really three guys that I'm paying attention to. And that is first the street etiquette team. I've known these guys for about five or six years and they have always done some amazing things. They've been unabashed about creation and about looking for different ways to promote something new. Now they started out with Street Etiquette as a blog where they were covering the history of menswear and men's clothing and have since exploded into all different areas of menswear, design, collaboration, content curation, uh, and creativity. They've done music videos, short films, just all types of artistic types of stuff. And I'm a huge fan and admire of them and glad to call them acquaintances and hopefully in the future we'll be able to work with them there's another guy that you probably have never heard of because he doesn't toot his own horn but i'm a toot his horn for him and that is uh moyo and moyo is a content creator he's a photographer a videographer um out of austin texas and he has been doing some really cool things in the artistic space um, that is not necessarily fashion oriented, but he definitely has his own unique eye and his own unique style when it comes to that. And so he's definitely uh, somebody that you should be paying attention to. And again, you'll be able to see all these guys links um, in the description box below. So make sure that you check those guys out. The next uh, space that I'm going to talk to you about is going to be the design space. And there are several people in, in those spaces that I definitely have to show some love to. The first one is my big bro, uh, the guy that I always talk about, and that is Mark Williamson of Flame Keepers Hat Club in Harlem. He's a dope milliner as well as hat developer uh he's worked in this industry for the last 25 years and one of the things that i really like about mark that sets him apart is his ability to do band works and he does some really cool things with them and so you always find something unique in that works for you when you go into his shop but he also will help educate you on what hat is going to work well for you, what colors are going to work for you. And it's just an all around good time once you go visit him. So Flame Keepers Hat Club, super uh, amazing dude when it comes to that design space. The next group of guys that I want to cover are the Bespoke Twins. Now the Bespoke Twins have been in the men's soft tailored good industry for the last 15 to 20 years i believe there are some ogs in the game when it comes to soft tailored goods and one of the things that i really enjoy about them is that they're not afraid of color they're not afraid to express themselves and they're not afraid to be black men right and i just love that they got some soul and they got some cool and how they move and um they're some very well-dressed dudes to boot. They're, I'm always looking at their uh, style for inspiration since they tend to not be afraid of patterns and, and mixing and matching colors and all those different types of things together. They definitely inspire me. So they're definitely somebody to check out. They started out in the shoe space, moved into the clothing space and have not allowed any situation, circumstance to keep them from uh, from progressing and creating something amazing. So definitely looking forward to what they're going to create in the future. The next space that I'm gonna cover is the maintenance space for and care for your products. And this is because I want people to start thinking out of the box. And in the business space, we often always want to go for the things that are the most glamorous, but we forget about the utility of certain things and that people will need to take care of their products. They need to uh, be able to hang up their products, all these different types of things that we may not think about or may not consider that yield extreme profit when it comes to the development of uh, your business. And one of the people who thought outside of the box was my man, Terry Colbert. Now, Terry Colbert has his own menswear suit line as well that he's creating. Um, and it's amazing and it's beautiful. But one of the things that really captured my attention is a project that he's working on. I can't really speak on it, to be honest, because I don't know a whole lot about it. But it is a space in the detergent um, arena where he's going to be creating detergents that are going to be uh accessible to us as the consumer for fine uh fine fabrics so for all of the elegant fabrics that you're afraid to 
uh, clean and washed and take care of. He's working on creating a detergent that will be uh, good for those types of fabrics. Now, I'm not telling you that that will alleviate you having to go to the dry cleaners, but it's still a great space for, for you to start. And he really inspired me to think outside of the box when it comes to the industries that I am looking at pursuing, especially in the menswear industry, because there's a lot of things that we don't think about when we're looking to pursue certain elements of design. So those are the black men within their respective industries that I think that you should be paying attention to. And as you can see, it's very diverse in what is offered there. Now, there are plenty of other guys who are doing their thing, and I just didn't have enough time to uh, incorporate all those different types of people. So maybe we'll have to do a, a part two for this. But please leave me some comments in the comments, in the comment box, letting me know who you think we should be watching when it comes to black men or men of color in general when it comes to the fashion world because i'm sure that there's a lot of people making headway and they would love to have their business promoted and i definitely want to make sure that i'm promoting their business as well uh, of course you can come check us out anytime that you're here in atlanta you can come by trilogy clothiers where we will make sure that we are helping you tell your story through style. You know that you can check me out on stylearchitects.com where we can help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to this styling thing. Please give this a thumbs up. Please make sure that you are supporting the small businesses and you are supporting your small black businesses so that uh, these people can continue to create legacies for their families and also give some inspiration to those young designers, photographers, content creators, and all those different other elements of the business that we may not consider because if they see somebody who looks like them then they believe that anything is possible so i will leave you with that you can try that on i hope it fits you and before i go please don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind so you should always dress to express i'll see you next week peace